Hello and welcome back to Studio Session. I'm Catherine and thank you so much for tuning in to another episode. Jumping right in with today's report, for reading, now that I've officially committed to college, I'm doing so much research on like all the, like their dorm policies, you know, like what to expect on campus, stuff like that. Um, just kind of getting excited for it. For eating, uh, this past Sunday was my dad's birthday, so we got him a birthday cake. Um, I noted that for my eating because it was really good. For playing, uh, recently I went to the sophomore hop for the school and they played just like some amazing like good dance hype songs. Um, I just think those are so fun to listen to like in the car. I don't know, just like your, cl your classic school dance songs. They're the best. For obsessing, I think I've mentioned this in another podcast, but I am just obsessed with my old digital camera that I found. I got it when I was like nine years old, so like the oldest pictures are from like forever ago, but I like recently rediscovered it and I just love like the look of digital camera photos. I've been bringing it with me everywhere. Um, it's just the best. For recommending, this is especially for seniors, but when you graduate from high school, I'm pretty sure Lincoln like wipes your school Gmail account. So if you want to save any important like documents or slideshows, I would recommend like uploading them to like a different flash drive or some kind of device, just so you don't lose those memories. And finally for treating, I'm just really going off about graduation today, but I love shopping on Depop. I just, it's like thrifting, but you can find exactly what you want. Um, and I just bought a grad dress for really cheap. So I'm really hoping it comes in and it fits good because that would be a great steal. I did not want to drop a ton of money on a white dress. That's it for today's report and let's jump into our main segment. For our main segment today, we are going to be reviewing Good Riddance by Gracie Abrams. This was my pick for one of my albums that I wanted to review this month. Um, I actually don't think I've sat down and listened to this album in full, so I was really excited to do that. Um, I know and love so many of these songs, but I was excited to listen to it from start to finish. This is a pop album that was released last year in 2023. My favorite song on this album was Difficult. This was a song I knew going in was going to be my favorite, even listening through the whole thing. This song is just so good. I think her vocals really, really shine in this. It's just like, I wouldn't call it like super upbeat, nor would I call it like sad. It's kind of like an, it's like a sad song, but with not a super sad beat, if that makes any sense, which I just really like. I like songs that have like deeper lyrics, but aren't like a super sullen tune. Um, that's kind of what I got from this song. This is, it's just so good. Uh, so Difficult was my favorite and definitely one of my favorite Gracie Abrams songs. For my most favorite song on this album, I said, where do we go now? Um, I, I don't think this is probably gonna be a popular answer uh, if you ask people. I really like the upbeat pattern and the back went really hard. And as well, I really, I just felt like this was the best sounding song on the album. And there's a lot of good sounding songs on this album, but I just feel like this one was not head and shoulders, but shoulders above the rest of the songs uh, on this album. That is a great one. When I saw Taylor Swift in concert um, about a year ago, uh, Grace Abrams was an opener, and that song was one of the ones that she played. I just remember that. It was so amazing to hear live. My second favorite song on this album is I Know It Won't Work. This song, it has like just the best beat drop, and kind of similar to the first one, it's like, a really heartbreaking song when you listen to the lyrics, but it's not necessarily like a slow, boring song, which I just love. I, I love when the tune is interesting, but the lyrics are still so beautifully written. Um, so I know it won't work is my second favorite. And again, one of my favorite songs by her. I said my second most favorite song is Will You Cry? Um, I thought the repetition in this one was really good. It does sound, uh, slightly different um, from some of the other songs, which I like, because on this album, you know, I feel like artists that uh, are not limited vocally, but just some artists get into a problem where they all sound the same. And there is a couple songs in this where I'm like, okay, it's kind of similar, but that's not the case with this one. I really like this subtle tapping in the back, and overall, I feel like this is just a really solid track. For my least favorite song, um, my least favorite song kind of fell into what Lucas was just saying. I do think a lot of songs on this album um, sound kind of similar and those just happen to be like my least favorite ones the kind of more like I don't know I wouldn't call them boring per se but less exciting of the bunch um, so right now was my least favorite song and that just kind of fell in that cluster of songs to me ones that kind of sounded similar um, and just didn't just didn't really stick out to me uh, I noted that this one was a little more like repetitive of those more boring ish ones um, so it did fall to my least favorite not a bad song, I could enjoy it, but 
just not my favorite. So right now was my least favorite. My least favorite uh, on this album is Amelie. I just felt like it was kind of too quiet at times. It was definitely under the average volume of other songs on this album. Um, and I think this song suffers from the Michael Jackson theory where pretty much every song on this album is good. Um, and this one just wasn't up to par with some of the hits. And finally, my underrated pick on this album. Um, for underrated, I usually try to stick with ones that don't have that like little dot or star next to it on Apple Music, but I think like deserve to have that little popularity mark. So I chose Full Machine. I love this song so much. I think that Gracie Abrams has a good like vocal range in this song. It kind of highlights her like she sings like more in a deeper voice, but then she also kind of has like, I don't know how to describe it, like a break in her voice like during the chorus, which I just love. It just shows her versatility. Um, great lyrics, great beat, and I think Full Machine deserves a lot more credit. I also selected Full Machine as my underrated pick from this album. Uh, I just thought it had a very nice chorus, and it was an extremely well-sounding song, and it was definitely uh, one of the more complimentary to her voice, which uh, is pretty good on this album throughout. And yeah, Full Machine is my underrated pick as well. Wow, if we both picked that for underrated, that means you guys should all go listen to it. Okay, so overall, I give this album an eight out of 10. Um, this was one of my picks, so going in, I knew I was going to love this album, um, and I was not disappointed. There are so many songs I absolutely adore. Grace Abrams is one of my favorite artists, so I love pretty much all of her work. Um, but kind of what we touched on, there were a couple songs in this album, I'd say maybe like three or four, that just kind of in my head I like got lost. They kind of all grouped together in my mind, um, kind of the more like sullen tunes. So for that reason, I couldn't really give it any higher than an eight. I think that the amazing songs were just absolutely incredible. There just were a few that kind of lacked a little bit. Um, but overall, eight out of 10, still an amazing rating and an amazing album. I also gave this an eight out of 10 for pretty much the same reason. There's just a couple tracks uh, that get lost in translation on this one. And the, uh, the heights of this album are definitely pretty high. So uh, good album, recommend you go listen to it. That was it for our main segment, and let's jump into our game. Our game for today is another song association. This is definitely one of my favorites to play. I just think it's so interesting, like the differences that we come up with, whether it's like actually relating a song lyric to the word or just like a general idea. I don't know, I'm always curious to see what we come up with. Okay, Lucas, my first word today is call. Okay, um, I am going to say that uh, my, my pick for this one is Call Me Maybe. Uh, I don't know, it's just the first one that came to mind. Um, Club Banger, definitely one of, the more, one of these songs of all time. Uh, my first word, very uh, relatable to today and the weather lately, is sunny. Sunny. Um, <coughs> sunny. Okay, wait, I'm thinking, I cannot tell you who the song is by, but there's, it's like, sunny something, something. It, like, it's like, the dark days are gone. You, you know, do you know what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> I don't even really know what I'm talking about, but I know there is a song called Sunny, and I do not know the artist. I'm going to find it um, eventually. Okay, my next word is everything. This feels like a setup. Um, I'm going to go with Everywhere Everything by Noah Khan featuring Gracie Abrams. Sneak peek, we are doing uh, Stick Season on our next podcast, and that song will get a high rating for me. Uh, my next word is books. Okay, the first song that came to my mind for books, maybe it's because, like I said, I've been on like a Disney kick, but it's the song from Tangled where she's like, then I'll read the books. I Ooh, this is bad. I don't even know the lyrics to that song. But she definitely says, like, I'll read the books. It's when she's in the tower. It's when will my life begin. I just can't think of what she says after books. But it definitely says books. Um, and yes, that everything was a hint to everywhere, everything. My next word is luck. Okay, my, it's my pick for this one um, is something I've been bumping a lot lately. I don't know why. It's just in my playlist. But that would be uh, Get Lucky by uh, Pharrell and Daft Punk. Definitely uh, 
again, one of the more popular songs since we've been born. Um, my next word is time. Ooh, immediately I thought of the song Silver Springs by Fleetwood Mac. I think I've mentioned this on one of our like playlist essentials. I don't know, but um, it's like time cast its spell on you, but you won't forget me. That I love this song so much. It is so beautiful. Um, so just immediately that is what I thought of. My next word is fly. Please excuse the interruption. Okay, for fly, I'm gonna go with maybe a less popular song, and this would be I'll Fly Away by Kanye. This is an interlude um, on one of his earliest projects, and it's just a random, like, I think it's like 50 seconds long. Prelude Spaceship, pretty good song though. Uh, my next song is Art. Art. Oh my gosh. I, again, I'm thinking of When Will My Life Begin from Tangled again because I know she references like painting and drawing in that song. I really need to get this song out of my head. Um, it's like, she definitely writes, she said, definitely says the word painting in it somewhere, which I know is not the word art, but I can't think of any song that actually has art in it. I mean, and that song is a masterpiece, so I guess that counts for that too. Okay, my next word is fire. Okay, fire. I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with firework. I'm I'm gonna throw one up in the dark here. I I think this is Katy Perry, but it might be like one of three other people, so I don't even know. Um, my word is surprise. It is by Katy Perry. Good job. Um, surprise. Oh gosh, why can I not think of any song that has the word surprise in it? Surprise. Um, I honestly cannot think of a song that has the word surprise in it, so I'll just go with the song that I don't, I don't even think is like released yet, but I know Sabrina Carpenter just announced that she's like releasing a song, and I also can't think of the name, so this is really bad, um, but she like just put out that she's dropping a single, um, so that's my pick because it was a surprise, but I don't even know the song name, nor is it released yet, but I'm still picking that one. Okay, and my final word today is going to be Face. Okay, well, I heard this song the other day, and we did review the album Face Value by Phil Collins, so my song is in the air tonight. Um, yeah, that's, that is our song association for today. Thank you for listening. Definitely a fun one, always a classic. And let's jump into our final segment of the day. As always, we are ending with what to expect next. So as Lucas already mentioned, our next album is one of his picks, and it is Stick Season by Noah Kahn. Definitely one I'm really excited to listen to. Noah Kahn is up and coming. He's everywhere right now. So I cannot wait to give this one a listen. Any closing remarks today? Yeah, I'm definitely excited as well to be doing Stick Season as it was one of my picks. Um, one thing I mentioned a couple weeks ago we had Kendrick sending shots to J. Cole. Well, now J. Cole has responded. Um, we had a little released Cole mixtape uh, claimed to be an album. It wasn't as finished as an album should be. This Friday was a great surprise. Unfortunately, it was not that good. And the discs were a little weak, so weak that J. Cole, at his Dreamville Festival, took them back and apologized to Kendrick. I don't know. Uh, Future and Metro Boomin are coming with their second part to their album. Maybe we'll see another Kendrick feature. Um, but just a lot of stuff going on with that right now, and I'm interested to see how it turns out. Always drama in the music world. You guys know I'm a huge Kendrick Lamar fan, so can't wait to see how that all unfolds. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you next time. Bye.